Noob Noob, I heard we're gonna talk about some Avatar. I wanna bend it in my butt. <clears throat> oh my God, I thought you were talking about Blue Rabbits doing it. We're gonna get bending. We're gonna do some. We're gonna get buddy. We're gonna do some orc juice bending with nutty orc bending and air bending. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna talk about uh, all the benders. We're gonna compare the Futurama one too. The <laughs> bender. Yeah. We're gonna yeah we're gonna pair <laughs> anything that's bending related. We're gonna compare it. We're we gonna are. compare. <laughs> Bender to Avatar, the blue guys to the anime version of the last airbender to the Netflix last airbender to the M. Night Shyamalan last airbender. Yep. So, All OK, bending. what are we really talking about? The the three main bendings, which is uh, Avatar, the anime, which is the original from Nickelodeon. Which neither of us has seen. Uh, well, I know of it because my I girlfriend. I am aware of it. My girlfriend has a like religious obsession. No, of she it. just likes Korra. Uh, n- no, she actually she, uh, well, she likes Korra too, obviously. Yeah, but she which is the woke one. It is the woke one. She admits it's the woke one. So but she fine. likes that one. First step is admittance. Uh, then there's the M. Night Shyamalan one, which was 2014. We'll look it up. Or 2010. One of the two. Uh Uh-huh. Then there is the latest, uh, Netflix one, which is 2024. The current time. Correct. Which which we just both watched and we We both agree we liked, which is contrary to most critics and maybe fan. I don't know. There's a lot of people who don't like what we're saying about avatar the last airbender which we both enjoyed the series even though netflix or or it's not rated very highly i'm not gonna say it's as good as um one piece but i think it was still enjoyable never saw one piece so i can't compare it but uh, i liked it it was very good well let's take a look at some things here and let's see what's going on first we're gonna look at the animated series which neither of us have seen it's from 2005 to 2008 and uh, that's 100% from the critics, suspicious, and 99% from the audience. Say what? Yeah, this is like a beloved series. Yeah, people love it. I will watch it. I am going to watch it shortly. We'll do another video once you watch it. Yeah. Uh, so then, and let's just go back. We're going to look at the live action cast compared to the cartoon cast because Entertainment Weekly had this, and I thought this was pretty good from Ong. To Katara. Aang. Aang? No, you, you're, you're all wrong. Stop M. Night Shyamalan. Princess Azula. Azula? Yeah. So Aang, Gordon Cormier. I, th- I thought he was a great cast. I really, I didn't talk about this in our review during the podcast, but I thought his, his head tattoo was really cool. Yeah, I what? thought the yeah. detail they put into this was very good. Yes, I like this version of it better than the... uh, Is he a goofy kid like this? I think so, yeah. He's a fun-loving 12-year-old? My my girlfriend said, who who loves, like I said, religious, this is probably her number one show ever. It's kind of gay. She said this was the best casting out of the whole show. This kid. Like, he is a great Aang. Ong. Aang. And then there's Katara, who is Kyo Wentio. I didn't like her initially, but that was like actually she she's grew pretty on cool. You? And then and then when I watched M Night Shyamalan's, I'm like, oh yeah, no, she's awesome compared to this shit. Okay, I thought it was a little weird that she had some of her own little meat cutes, where she's like trying to make out with dudes, but I thought she was a little too young with that. But I liked her. And I thought she was kind of like the moral center of the show. And I liked her back and forth with her brother. I thought that was pretty cool. Soka. Soka. Soka is a man whore. Yeah, there is some problems with Soka if you compare him problems. to the anime. He's problematic. Yeah. What are the problems? Well, in, in the show, he's just kind of there. There's nothing wrong with him. Uh, also, like again, the last Airbender movie. He's terrible. Like, he's a non-existent piece oh, of trash. okay. But when you compare him to the anime, he's, like, a really important comic relief part of the show. He's not really that comedic in this. He tries to be funny, but he's not. I don't know if he succeeds. Yeah, he's a he's little just there. deadpan. Uh, and then there's Appa. Appa! 
I was the cutest thing ever, except in the Netflix show. That's the one. It's a big, pretty big downfall is that he's completely CGI and not very interesting. Yeah, and he's he's not as featured as he should be. There's like episodes about Appa in the anime. The, the one thing the movie got right with M. Night Shyamalan is Appa actually looks better in that movie than really? he does in the Netflix series. That's like the literal one thing. <laughs> That's the one thing is that they Appa got better. looks like great. What about Momo? Momo is adorable. Love Momo. Momo is barely in the Netflix series. He's there and he's cute, but Momo in the anime is like actually an integral character and like has a lot. What about of, in the M Night Shyamalan one, which is the one uh, actually watched. barely a thing, barely, like a quite thing. literally barely a thing. I'm not Prince even. Prince Zuko. I thought he was pretty good. I don't think he was the best, but I thought he was pretty good. I like Zuko. Uh, I, I think they were pretty like comparable uh, for anime okay. to the show. The, the movie was garbage. <laughs> Okay. Dev Patel, I like him as an actor, and Monkey Man is gonna be great, but that was terrible. Uh, that was Dev Patel, really? Yep. Wow. Yeah, they brownwashed him. Wow. Fire Lord Ozai, Daniel Day Kim. You said he is from Hawaii Five O. Hawaii Five O. And also, I liked him. Thought he was good. Yeah. But mm. I think um, the guy from Shogun would have been better. Well, the guy from older. Shogun is always better in everything. He's the best. The best actor. I, I, well, I, I don't would know his say, name, but he's with, the best. With Fire Lord Ozai, uh, compared to the anime, he doesn't. I don't think he talks all that much. So in the in the show, they make him more involved. So he's fine. But in what in, about in the M Night movie? Uh, he's terrible. Okay, and he's straight garbage. He's an Australian Indian guy. Oh well, all right. so it's they I, they didn't really whitewash people because they accused the the M Night Shyamalan one of whitewashing, but it's yeah, they really like just. Yeah, so really they whitewashed the Indian or the Inuit people. They made them white. And then the Asian people, they made them Indian. So that's how M. Night Shyamalan handled it. Even though he's Indian. Yeah. So that's not really whitewashing. So made, no, they didn't. Well, they whitewashed the good guys and they brownwashed the bad guys. Okay. In this one, they just were accurate. Okay. Sort of. No, they were mainly accurate. Well, weren't the 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 the, the I did notice culturally they seem to be kind of different because the um the the earthbender seemed to be like Indian or like maybe Persian or something. I don't know what they were going for there, but something different. Some sort of Mediterranean. Something. Yeah. And then Uncle Iro. Yeah. I thought he was great. I thought in, it, yeah, he Netflix. was great too. I, I thought he was great. I, One of my pair, favorite characters. A pair in 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 the Netflix version. In the movie, he's I guess well, he's one of the better people of a terrible movie, but he's still terrible. And in the Netflix he's great, but in the anime he's I think even better. So Oh. Yeah. And then uh Princess Azula, I thought she was pretty gnarly, so I liked her. They don't they don't focus on her enough. The anime, there's like a lot more of her. Okay. The movie, there is quite literally none of her until the final, final scene. I don't know who May is. One of her friends. Yeah. So whatever. Who cares? Well, that's where in the in the show, in the anime, they focus on the friendship and how they, like, she slowly becomes basically unhinged. Mm -hmm. In this, like, they just kind of show up and like, hey, we're your friends. Let's hey, your friends. Ty Lee. Same thing. Same thing. Same yeah, thing. Same thing. Commander Zhao. I thought that guy was really good. Uh, uh, him, him and because he was just he was wild. I thought he was good. Yes, I, I liked him in the show. In the movie, he's garbage. I don't know much about him in the anime, to be honest. Suki, I thought Suki Suki's hot. was hot. Suki's hot. She's hot stuff. Not in the movie at all. Oh, okay. Not in the movie at all. I love this chick. Was she had very limited role, but I thought she was great. Yeah, I thought she was very cool. Art and she, she didn't have enough in it. What's a night? Oh, Nyla is the thing with the weird, the weird mole thing that yeah. she rides. Yep. Uh, Jet. Oh, Jet is apparently very important in the anime, and he just kind of weirdly shows up in the show. And he's kind of a he's jerk. not in the movie at all. Okay. I don't think the mechanist is in the movie at all that I remember. There's weird prosthetics on that guy, so I was kind of like, well, yeah. I don't know what's going on here. Tiao, I get, I didn't realize he really is handy capable and like vaguely not Asian or some sort of Asian, like not East Asian, but yeah. like West Asian. Yeah. Tiao, Grand Grand. Yeah. I mean, she was lady. super white in the movie. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, bye. I mean, it's animated, so what do you, what do we care? Yeah. Ko Ko was really cool in the Netflix version, but I suspect the budget was they were like, okay, we can't spend that much money. It's too much, right? It, I assume it cost a pretty penny, so it looked cool while you did it, and just they spent way too much money with this big owl yeah. thing. They wasted too no, much. No, the owl is important, and they, they didn't do a good job in the show. Okay. I don't know who this is, but so uh, Fire Lord Sozin, whatever. Yeah. I really liked uh, this guy, too. No, he was good. He was like Lim one of the emotional. Case you, he was really good. He was an emotional key to the show. Yeah, I really enjoyed him. I like there's like a scene where he's like giving Ong advice. Yeah. Ang? He does that a good Ang Ang advice And then he's like Ang's like I'll be back later To kind of hang out And he's like Absolutely my friend And yeah. then they just No uh, Boomai I liked Boomai He was real weird Boomy, yeah. Real hair Real hairy He had this weird Boomy. hairy White hairy armpits But I liked him No yeah, He's it, cool He's cool he's I like that battle I thought that battle Was pretty cool Avatar Court. Oh my gosh. How many of these people are we going to go through? There's all a of lot. them? Yeah. All right. We don't have to go through all of them. This was cool. Let's go on to the next one. Oh. We're just good. You want to see the rest of them? No. We can just gloss over them. Yeah. Oh, this Princess girl. Amber Mid Thunder. Yeah. Mid Thunder Thighs. No, yeah. she. I liked her. I like her a lot. Yeah. Well, the one thing they. I hate the uh, wig, but I like her. The wig is a lot better in the Avatar movie. Oh, in the mo in the M Night Shyamalan yep, movie, she yeah. Looks a in lot this more one, natural. she she's a she, they uh, they made her look weird. She's yeah. way more attractive than that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kiyoshi, Kiyoshi, yeah. Roku. People, cabbage merchant. Oh, my cabbages, my cabbages. Yeah, that's a funny part in the, the anime. I'm sure it is. So the 2010 PG one hour, 43 minute by M night Shyamalan movie. It's a uh, four out of 10 on IMDb. And let's just look. It's at hot cast. garbage. Is it though? You, you, I liked it when I, well, I didn't like it. I thought it was okay when I first saw it back when it came out. And then I saw this show and then rewatched it. I'm like, Sean tube is, is Taub is I uncle. You're okay. I see what you're saying. Dev Patel. Yeah. I see. You know what? M. Knight wanted to have more Indian representation. How dare you give him a hard time over that? Uh, yeah, like they're Asian names. Randall Duck Kim is in it. He plays an old man in a sample. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not great. Uh, it's not what great. was bad about it though? Like everything. The direction, like what specifically? Yeah, direction. Like if you if you take so the anime is each season is like a book. So like it's Book of Water is season one. Then the movie is is the same thing, and the show for Netflix is Oof. the same thing. Um, oh no, it's rough. Like it's it's a rough time. The audience has a thirty thirty percent with two hundred fifty thousand ratings, five percent by the critics. Yeah, like the Netflix show was really rushed, horrible acting. But then the movie is like mid sentence. M Night's like cutting and just jumping time. Like we gotta go. It's bad. It's not great. I can see these actors, and I'm going. The huh. effects are terrible. Really? The fight scenes are terrible. Everything about it is terrible, except for uh, and, and they just blatantly change the names. Why do you say Ong and Uncle Iro instead of Iro? Like that's just, right and correct. It's not. Uh, they, and they, correct. They change major things, and like you can change some stuff without people complaining too much. But the end scene is a one hundred percent different for no reason, and it's one of the cooler scenes. Like Water Godzilla, it's pretty expensive to to Water Godzilla is pretty dope. Your choices are Water Godzilla or, or a tidal, a tidal wave. wave. I'm gonna take Water Godzilla, but like do it in a way that's similar to the show. Like they just, it's like a different thing entirely. That's hmm. just different. It's stupid. It's a really bad movie. Interesting. Yeah. Uh so the critics have the the new the um, no no the the Netflix version at 59% and 75% on the audience score. Do you think it's going to get a season 2? That's the real question. I hope so. I'll be pissed if it doesn't. Ah, oh, Netflix. There's only is... 3 seasons for this. Like just let it go through. That is true because, you know, you get the first season to kind of get your legs underneath of you. The one problem with Netflix in general is um, most shows 
get time to develop. So what happens is you you put out a season and then you have like a mid-season hiatus and then you get, you know, customer fan feedback and the fans are like, oh, we like this character. We don't like this character like cheers. You know, they like coach, but then, they, you know, whatever. They change the characters around and they start like, oh, we like this character. We need to change these character arcs. And then they do the second half of the season. And then, you know, it, it fits more with what, they, what the audience wants. Netflix drops everything at once and it's like, leave it or take it. And there's no development. So if they just don't watch it enough, they're not going to give it a season two no matter what. So that's where like this one felt like it was getting its feet underneath of it. And then they're, you know, potentially could just pull the rug out from under it. I would be pissed. I don't think they committed to like three seasons or whatever. I don't think so. But hopefully, you know, just it's already 33% done. So just get the other 66. <laughs> just finish that 66. Or 67%. I wanted to read some of the reviews, but they're not letting me. I don't know why. But anyway, I. Uh, to the anime. What do you mean? Just to show the anime that's the greatest thing of the three. I guess so. I don't know. Where do you watch it? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I thought you were going to show the scores of it being the like The score great. is 100%. Yeah, it's awesome. And 99%. I'm going to I'm going to watch the whole thing and then maybe go to Korra. I'm not sure. Go to court? Korra. Korra. Oh, so you can get woke. Yeah. So anyway, I we recommend the Netflix one. So you should watch it, right? Uh, you should. You should not watch the Avatar. Midnight you you could if you want to compare. If you're like eh, the Avatar, if you've watched the anime and then you watch the Netflix one, and you're, you're like, a little disappointed but because you want a boost. There's some differences, and there's like it's out of order for no reason, which I you know I get people are pissed off. Then you're like, you know what? Let me appreciate this more. Let's watch the M Night Shyamalan one. You're like Avatar on Netflix is is Oscar worthy. <laughs> you will come back and think it's the greatest thing ever. You're like, wow, they really did a good job. Yes. So I, I like it. I would recommend it. I think it's fun. I don't think it, it's a little more violent than I would have expected for like a PG show, but it's not it's not that violent to be like, no, don't watch it. So I think it's a, it's a good show to watch. It's definitely better than Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop was unwatchable and unboring. This feels like everything. The pacing is very fast. So there's never like downtime where you're like, this is padding, you know, like there's no vamping or it, there's no wasted time. Right. Yeah. So anyway, we both recommend it. You should check it out. And in the meantime, let us know in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think this one was worthy of watching? Do you think it'll pick up? I think it's going to pick up steam as more people get the idea that this isn't terrible because the M. Night Shyamalan one seemed to have left a, a terrible taste in everyone's mouth. And everyone really likes the original version. So as more people get to see this, I think they're going to recommend it more. I think word of mouth is going to spread. But what do I know? Let us know what you think down in the comments because it's important and we want to know. But as for us, uh, oh, yeah, by the way, uh, podcast, 7.30 Friday nights, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. What else do we do? Uh, we have memberships for a dollar. You can join Noob News monthly chats and get uh, movies get and codes and stuff. And, you know, it's a good time. Get naked. Support the channel. Get exclusive content. Entered into contests and such. It's cool. It's just a dollar, you know. You just can, one dollar. You, you can give it to charity. You can give it to us. We'll at least take your money willingly and tell you a bunch. And we'll it. even give you. We're not a tax front like all charities are. Yeah, we'll give you more content. There's a fair trade off there. We promise. So I guess that's all for us. Uh, like and subscribe. But we will. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one because we are on to the next one.